Greetings, Commanders! You know, when I first started doing Pimp My Arc, one of the criticisms was, how are you going to do Pimp My Arc and not, like, give them new stuff and spend money and buy stuff? And I'm like, it's more like an advice show. But today, we've got a special episode of Pimp My Arc, and we're going to start with just that. Hey, so you want to be a player, but you weren't too smart. You got to hit that up to get a pimp out of. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a free gift code. Boom! A hundred magazines starting off rich. I honestly didn't expect that to work. I just gave one out in guild chat. They said it wasn't going to work. <laughs> uh, someone might have stole his game code, actually. Sorry, sorry, Nimowitz. I think, I think Miff stole your code. <laughs> it worked. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an episode of Pimp My Arc. Today we're on One Eye's Arc. And you know what? I was talking to One Eye and I said, you know what we ought to do? Uh, we should do something special. Is there anything you're building right now? He says, yeah, I'm really close to building the Dawn Hall. And I said, perfect. All right, let's build the Dawn Hall. So let's start with that, guys. The Dawn Hall, especially now with Penetration Meta here, even if you're only a Tier 9, 10, or 11 account, Penetration is still going to be really important. So the Dawn Hall is a Penetration Hall. It takes Titan, Wild Rose, Apoc, and then 10 Pure Crystals. So we have to take those off of one of his commanders. Uh, who's it going to be? Is that the one? Uh, that's not a terrible Titan. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, that's like under 45%. So that's the one we're going to use. We'll take that there. We'll take that there. And we'll head on over to the Don Hall. And we'll get that started for him. Now, guys, I want to remind everyone, you know, we like to do these intros with something different each time. Kind of a narrative to start the show, right? Uh, that is a lot of melange and stuff to throw away, but it's really not that bad. In the grand scheme of things, it's better to have the Dawn Hall get that started. Um, that You can actually speed build your halls. Even though it says speed up 11,000 gold, you can actually click it and use the time speed ups. So it's seven days. All we got to do is grab a couple three days. And a 24 hour, and boom, we have the hall. Now we can select it, we can upgrade it. In order to upgrade it to maximum, it's 8.49 million melange. So to go from level 1 to 20, I don't know why they haven't made a level 30 yet, but you know, whatever. There's probably caps, there's reasons for that. Anyway, uh, it's 8.49 million. And then, uh, of course, now we have a penetration hall, a little bit of strength and weakened, some crit, crit damage, accuracy, attack. It's the best PvP hall in the game. It outscores the APOC uh, almost by 50%, 40%. It's huge, and it scales really nicely late game. Uh, so now we have it. So welcome to One Eye's arc. It's a 25 million power arc, and I, I kind of been dicking around with, like, redemption stuff. But listen... What's great about this episode is that One Eye is like a hardcore PvP player, and he kind of reminded me that a lot of players are still on servers that are very active. And the thing about this server is it's a very young server. Uh, it's 1040, and Mantissa is currently Lord. He left Win and restarted a new branch of the Win Guild on server 1040. Uh, but until he was here, it was a pretty neutral battleground. It was pretty fair, the Asians versus the English speakers. And uh, apparently... One Eye and crew have been uh, going at it nonstop for months. Now, he said he did. He almost took a break, but the server migration allowed him to get back into the game, get onto a new server, and kind of rekindle his PvP roots. He says he's really into just capital battles, uh, server side arc battles, and then uh, um, Centicon battles. And he says, Melt, what I really like to do is just realize and teach them that no matter, even though he's only a tier 7 account, he can counter everything. He says, if they send Rogers, I send one slot bust. Uh, if they send Plasma, I send Rogers. You know, so he's got a counter for everything. And uh, that's really what he's into. He likes logging into his phone and just getting into a little bit of trouble. And even though he's only tier 7, he says he can exchange and, and you know, skirmish with the best of them. Of course, when the Mantissa and the big guys show up and uh, reclaim the server with tier 12, there's really not much you can do there. But he still says he finds a lot of server-side small skirmishes. So let's take a look at his uh, research and kind of relate it back to other players that are watching this that maybe are 20, 30 million power. Looks like his airship is maxed and my phone is blowing up. There we go. Airships max, a little bit of infantry research, not done yet though, but his airships are done all the way. So what that tells me is he's probably getting close to tier nine. Let's see how close he is. Oh, he's almost there. Level four. At level five, he gets to unlock all those and then choose a tier nine, but he does have a ways to go. I mean, don't kid yourself. That's almost a thousand dollars worth of unlimited crystals so you better start uh, uh getting those pure crystals or start converting your uh paraloper crystals 
Uh, yeah, and he's down to 4.6 million. He says he's spending a lot of crystals healing his troops. Now, remember, don't heal tier 2 with crystals. I know it's cheap, but eventually you're going to want to use these crystals one day to activate your uh, unlimited crystals. You just need to save up a bunch of them. There is no cap to how many you can hold. And then you get a bunch of unlimited crystals and get your tier 9 research. And that's for anyone who's just getting close. If you want to slow down the PvP or don't heal your tier 2, tier 1 with crystals, just use resources. Uh, save those for getting your advanced tier. But um, he's an airship account main, really. So he's probably a filthy... Ooh, not bad. Exactly 100,000 leadership on the Vega. Very nice. Didn't go 102... You know, it didn't go 100,010, exactly 100K. Very clean touch. I like that. Uh, looks like his Rogers is 30,000 for peak, and he's got a little bit of damage, a little bit of HP. Mostly tank gear. So this is a great Rogers build. Gemini, Scorpio, which I don't hate on Rogers um, because you need it for Tier 12 Tear Space in peak contest. But also, it's good to have on your troops. And really, the the, the walker, the walker, the airship gems just aren't that good. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like Virgo on him. Uh, and I like having a little bit of tear suppression if you know you're getting into bigger fights. Uh, but this HP build is fine in, in for peak contest. I don't mind this at all. Especially if you're going against full metals. They will, they will disable that tyrant cometh. Uh, but these guaranteed hit gems will do it. Now, you're almost to level 60 on the defensive uh, stance. You may as well go all the way there. Definitely worth doing. You can leave Awakening and Tyrant coming at level 40. Take Tyrant coming to 50, but not 60. Uh, unless you want to commit more to him. But uh, as far as the rest of the commanders are concerned, Gilly's 36, Blader's 52. Yeah, these are just farming commanders. I think he mentioned he has a plasma he liked to use. Let me see if we can find that plasma. Oh, A-class plasma. Always a, a place in my heart for the A-class plasma. Level 60, Quantum Blast is better than 50. It's worth getting. You're only 50 here. You'll use it. You're never going to absorb plasma. Uh, you may as well start working on that as well. So, uh... You know, not bad. Looks like he has absorbed all of his commanders in a recent absorb cycle. Probably poured them into Rogers. Um, yeah, that makes sense. But, you know, we were talking about that. And he says that he hasn't gone to senior contest and peak contest. And I think, honestly, One-Eye, it's time. Stop messing around. The thing about not being in senior contest, being back in this basic division, you're ranked 2017. No. 20, 2017. God, even then you're not even that highly ranked. I mean, no offense, but like, if you're gonna be that highly ranked, you may as well at least drop to. Yeah, look, you're not getting anything for this anyway. You're not even gonna get anything anyway if you weren't in the top thousand. This is negligible. Six hundred magazines is not a big deal. Uh, not when you have a hundred thousand leadership. It's time to jump to senior division. Tomorrow is October for. Well, actually, tomorrow's October first when I'm filming this. So, uh, I'm gonna tell you in, in line chat. Jump over to senior division. Start getting better rewards. You get hyperspace crystals every day. Um, yeah, honor medals aren't very aren't that many i mean it's not that bad but yeah definitely get into senior division i don't think there's a good reason not to if you have a hundred thousand leadership and a, a vega main and a rogers main do it man do it uh i haven't seen your strength and weaken gear how are we doing on that let's take a look here uh he doesn't have a set of sui gear yet doesn't have his rabbit ears so that's the next thing to build man a sui set if you like server side pvp you want to get into trouble get the rabbit ears get the double destruction weapons is it destruction yeah uh and then the strength and weaken pants which is funny you might actually have those those are easier to get now yeah there's strength and weaken pants as well it's really easy to get to 400 percent strength and weaken especially if you're using tier 7 and you go against the new tier 12 you can actually sui the new tier 12 plus because it doesn't have tear space damage uh but also sui works against tier 9 10 and 11 you just have to the matchup uh actually swinging against tier 9 and 10 doesn't work but you can sweep tier 11 with tier 7 so but you're almost at tier 9 listen that's a whole conversation about strength and weekend uh, you'll want to get into that on your own if you haven't dug into strength and weekend and you're watching this video going what is he talking about swee and rabbit ears there's a whole video series on that there is a way to neutralize your opponent's damage entirely and i know that's kind of like back backtracking into like more uh, basic concepts on this channel but I think um, maybe a lot of players haven't mastered Sui and what 400% Sui can do for you. So check that out. All right, let's give shout outs to the House of Wolves. Um, this is going out to Braden, Doc, and Insidious. One Eye says, uh, you guys are good guys, solid dudes. You guys are the reason he still plays. And you know, I like to remind people that this game at the heart of it is really a social game. It's a community game. And if you don't have good friends and a good guild, you're not going to stick around long. And then you're going to be searching for the next cell phone game you don't like with a bunch of people that you don't like. Stick with your friends. Stick with your guild. If you got to call them a wolf pack, do it. But Esto and... Is it Esto or Doc? Esto or Doc? Might be both. Doc and Esto? Okay. Esto, if it was you, I'm sorry. If you're a member of the wolf pack and I missed it, my bad. 
Ooh, don't want to do that. All right. Anything else we need to do? Let's check Guild Chat and we'll give out a few more codes. And then we'll call it a day, guys, and say uh, thanks to One Eye for supporting the channel and uh, letting us do this episode of Pimp My Arc. So, uh, yeah, man. Get into that senior contest. Oh, should we talk about his gear? Now that the penetration met is here and he's going to be getting tier 9, is it time to retire the Titans? Oh, you know, you wouldn't have to do much. You just need two Wild Roses. And I know we just ate yours, but uh, this event's going on and you've still got a couple days left. And it's really not hard to get the Wild Roses. You just got to do a ton of faction quests and then reset it. Remember, uh, you can get... Where is it? There it is. These endless vortexes you can get multiples during this week you can reset your faction do a hundred of them and then reset your faction do a hundred more it's very doable um and you can get these wild roses and these boiling bloods are 120 super equipment chests each very manageable all right i'll message you directly about that but that's it man that's uh that's it stick with the vega now vega titan build is just fine until you decide if you want to change that up um but that's it thanks for watching guys we'll see you tomorrow